Yeah, Dom says, hey, screen time is a great idea for managing your kids and your own devices, but it has so many limitations and holes, it becomes nearly useless. One area we wanted to help our kids with is managing the temptation to play Minecraft for hours on their Macs instead of doing their schoolwork. Minecraft on the Mac is a particular problem because the launcher is a regular Mac app, but the uh, program itself is a Java executable. So screen time can block the launcher during certain hours, but not the program itself. And since screen time gives you the option of just one more minute, and it doesn't take that long to launch Minecraft from the launcher, it was useless. I'd been pulling my hair out trying to find solutions until I remembered that there are pro productivity distraction free apps out there. The one I settled on is called OneFocus, and it's in the Mac App Store. You can set it to block certain apps and certain websites of your choice during particular hours. On the Pro version, $2 a month or $10 a year, you can set up repeating schedules. Example, Monday to Friday between these hours. It has varying levels of hardness, i.e. how much you can lock it down but the higher levels make it progressively harder to work with. So I've blocked the Minecraft launcher, which launches, but remains hidden in the background. So far, so good. Huh. That's a great idea. Yeah. Huh. I never thought of using the, you know, focus apps, the productivity apps, the ADHD management apps as parental control type apps. But obviously, you know, it's a tool that can be used in many different ways. Yeah, huh. it's that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought of that application either, but Smart. yeah, I don't know. I like Minecraft, so, but I get not letting your kids uh, play a Minecraft during when yeah. they're doing homework. Yeah, it, yeah. everything needs to be kind of managed. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. <laughs> 